If you want to be able to publish this uh, worksheet to the web, it's pretty simple. You can go ahead and save it as a web page. But getting it up on the web, if you don't know how to do it, you want to talk to your IT person. In any case, to uh, save this worksheet as a web page, come up here, click on the File tab, go down to Save As, change the Save As type, or changing the type of file that it's going to be. And you've got a couple of choices. You have your basic or standard web page.html. Then you have a single file web page. The difference between the two is that the single file web page will have the file, and if there's any images that are inside the file, it actually keeps them on the outside of the file, but just links to them or pulls them in through a link, where the single file web page embeds everything into one file. So it's up to you, whichever one's going to work best for you. To keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead and select single file web page, and then for the file name, I can go ahead and call. Then I'm just going to come down here and click on Publish. And then you can choose the items on DF Payroll, a range of cells, the entire workbook, or previously published items. I'm going to go ahead and say the items on DF Payroll, which is the uh, worksheet here. And then I can select it down below if there was additional items. And then you can see the file name is going to be saved in the Exercises folder as my spiffy payroll worksheet.mht. Do I want to go ahead and uh, check the box to auto republish every time this uh, workbook is saved? Meaning that if I go ahead and make changes to it, it'll automatically publish those changes into this file here within my exercises folder, as you can see there. And then down below, I can go ahead and open up the publish page in the web browser the moment I go ahead and publish this. Before I go ahead and do that, I actually have the title of the uh, web page. Usually, when you visit a website, It'll have it just like up here, the title of this workbook, Publish Worksheet to the Web. You can have a title. I mean, you've got your file name, which you recognize, but do you want a title for users who stop by and visit your web page here? Go ahead and click Change and give it a title. Boy, everybody would love that on the web to see how much their coworkers getting paid or what other people are getting paid in the industry. In any case, click OK. There's the title. Click Publish. It'll open up in a web page here, and you can see it up at the top. There's my title for the web page, DF's Company Payroll, and of course what it's going to look like. It's not pretty, but you can at least get that up there on the web by publishing it as a web page. Then I can go ahead and close out, uh, make any changes that I want to it. Go ahead and put my initials there and click Save. And then it says this workbook contains items that are automatically republished to the web pages each time the workbook is saved. Do you want to disable this or enable it and continue and just not show the message again? We'll go ahead and enable that. And then remember, it was published inside my exercises uh, folder. So let's see if it's got that update. Let me minimize that down to the taskbar. Go to the exercises folder, double click, and there it is. You can see that this uh, icon is not like the others, and it's got the extension .mht. Of course, if you want to learn about extensions, you can watch my Windows 7 uh, training videos. Let me double click to open that up. There it is, KCK. So that way, if it automatically republishes every time I click Save, I don't have to go ahead and, and go through it manually. Again, file to save as, change the save as type to the uh, web page single file, MHT, and then go ahead and click Publish. It's automatically done for me. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.